we next turn our attention to the lightweight. This Eastern European kickboxer makes his glory debut tonight in Lille. Please welcome Sergei Adamchuk. Twenty-five-year-old Sergey Adamchuk, another individual who didn't realize he was going to be competing on the Glory Super Fight Series, but here he is making his debut. A record of 28 and five with 14 wins inside the distance comes from a decorated Camp Mike's gym in the Netherlands, representing the Ukraine. He's a southpaw who also has 16 professional MMA fights on his dossier. 11 and 5 record with four wins via KO one sub in mixed martial arts. So his opponent battled Glory lightweight champion Roman Van Roosman to a split decision at Glory 15 Istanbul. He is Marat Grigorian. Twenty-four-year-old Marat Gregorian made his glory debut at Glory 2 Brussels. Was supposed to face highly ranked Mohamed Kamal, but Kamal pulled out. And it then took on Alex Vogel. He stopped him with low kicks in the second round at Glory 7 Milan in April of 2013. He faced Chingiz Alizov. It ended in a no contest after an accidental illegal elbow cut Alizov badly in the first round. Later that year, they rematched in France. Gregorian winning a decision after three rounds. And he lost to current Glory lightweight champion Robin Van Roosmalen via split decision in the co-main event of Glory 15 Istanbul in Turkey, April of 2014. So a guy who's gone the distance giving Van Roosmalen all he can handle. And another opportunity here to show that he belongs in the highest echelon of kickboxing. An overall record of 41, six and two with more than half of his wins coming inside the distance. Time for action in the glory lightweight division. Belgium's Marat Gregorian battling Ukraine's Sergei Adamchuk. Yeah, Gregorian has a slight reach advantage here, which he's gonna need when he pops and punches. He's got a good height advantage. He needs to stick behind that jab, hit the body early, and mix up those combo punches. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lightweight super fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, trained in Muay Thai and kickboxing, he brings a professional record of 28 wins with five losses, 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, eight and a half inches, 1.74 meters, he went in at fight time at 153 and one half pounds, 69.6 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sergei Adamchuk. His opponent opposite the ring, standing in the white corner, currently ranked number 10 in the Glory World Rankings. His record, 41 wins with six losses, two bouts scored even, 23 big wins by knockout. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at an even 154 pounds, 70 kilograms, he fights tonight for Belgium. Please welcome Marat Grigorian. And once again, your uh, referee in charge of the glory ring, Stefano Valenti. Mouth. Mouth. Okay, touch and corner, please. Set for three, three minute rounds in the glory lightweight division. Gregorian's landed 42% of his total strikes in glory, 60% of his kicks. Corner. Has a very nice teep. A leg jab. Fight! Gregorian in the white gloves. Adam Chuck in the black. Adam Chuck in a southpaw stance. Looks for that huge left leg across the body. 
He's a very economical Titan power puncher. Beautiful combinations to get things started for Adam Chuck. As that Dutch style, where the punching combination, closing it out with the low kick. You hear Nikki Hammers in his corner representing Hammers Gym. And it's Adam Chuck off to a quick start. Hard kicks to start this round. Stop! Stop! Your head. I think Adam Chuck has the advantage in the punching power. 14 of his 28 wins have been via form of knockout as Gregorian delivers a knee in the clinch along the ropes. Previous fights, I've seen Gregorian move a lot more, a lot more positioning, a lot more shoulder movement, very European style. He's been very busy on the international scene, coming off a loss to former Lupini champion Yotsun Klai Fairtex in China for Kunlun back in April. But here back in glories, had injury issues, some visa issues, and that busy international schedule. But I know fans are happy to see him back in the glory ring. Although I don't know if he's happy with what Adam Chuck is serving up thus far. Great start for the fighter who took this opportunity on short notice. And that left leg round kick is what Fairtex was tearing up the body with Gregorian. That changed that fight, that last fight that he just lost. If Adam Chuck can get that kick going and keep those hands solid, this fight could turn. Really like his combinations upstairs. Adam Chuck working the from the southpaw stance now along the ropes. Being picked off by Gregorian. Gregorian now crowding him. Coming up on the final 60 seconds of the opening frame. Nice counter left hook as he moved out of the way. That was a slick move, buddy. Under a minute left in the first frame. Body kick, counter right hand by Gregorian. A smooth start for Sergey Adamchuk, the southpaw. There's that left. Oh, and the high kick blocked by Gregorian. Now Gregorian comes back with a punch kick combination of his own. Good hand speed possessed by Adamchuk. 30 seconds left. Gregorian whips the inside low kick. There's a body kick by Adam Chuck. Plenty of action, even though Gregorian not off to his typical fast start. Adam Chuck has really made the fight here in the first round. Nice straight left right hook. How'd you score that opening three minutes? Well, Gregorian was moving forward, which gave the impression that he was doing more damage, but I gotta think Adam Chuck did more damage in that, and I'd give the round to him. He had the higher output offensively. Higher output, bigger strikes, the, that left leg kick. And while all the punches and kicks didn't necessarily score clean, I think they did enough. have seen Gregorian deliver brutal leg kicks in the past, and we'll see if he begins to unleash that method of attack in the middle round. Die the corner, please. Come on. Stay here. Die the corner. Mouth. Fight! Round two. Adam Chuck immediately attacking the body, stabbing it with a jab. But now Gregorian much more aggressive to begin this that's, round. That's what he needs to be doing. He can't stick back with this guy. Adam Chuck's got too much power and timing in that leg. He needs to get busy. He needs to get footwork going. That's what he's usually doing. He's usually popping, moving, cutting the angles. Adam Chuck trying to bait him in and get that big old kick coming again. Nice combination through the guard by Adam Chuck. Really like his hand speed and his technique with his punches. It's tight, right? Very he moves tight. Right out the way. Gregorian with a combination, but blocked with a high guard. But definitely, there's that sense of urgency. Now, here's that edge we know Gregorian possesses, but so far, Adam Chuck able to stave off the attack. Stand up, your hand. Right. Stand up. Fight. One minute gone in the round. And that was 
below the belt line. Fight. Listen to me. Up your kicks. Fight. Goran should unleash that right more. He's got to let that right go and then follow it up left hook right. Hit the body, go upper cuff. He's holding it too long. Seems like he's still trying to collect the data of what Adam Chuck possesses. We know he possesses hand speed, some crisp combinations. There's a high kick that was blocked inside low kick by Gregorian. I have a feeling uh, Valenti's going to do more commentating than we are tonight, Frank. <laughs> There's Gregorian with his best combination of the fight, and Adam Chuck retreating, and now Gregorian is what he needs on the attack. Body, body, head, right hand, and a high kick. Counter left, but he's hit with another hard shot from Gregorian. So in the final minute of the second round, Gregorian beginning to find his groove. But Adam Chuck comes back. He has not stopped throwing power, though he slowed down just a little bit, Adam Chuck has. But he's still whipping him. I think some of the starch out of his shots taken away by the aggressive Gregorian, but oh. works the body beautifully with that right hook. There's a left hook to the liver by Gregorian. Still a little tentative. Measuring him with that pine jab, goes to the body again with the left. 15 seconds left in the second round. Good stuff here between Gregorian and Adam Chuck. All blocked. All blocked there. How do you have it after six minutes? Well, I think Gregorian's starting to run away with this. At least in the... Run away? Just, well, what? he just picked it up ten times, bro. He went from cruising the first round and feeling it out to oh. letting him go. There's a guy who ran away with the heavyweight division for many years, a four-time K-1 champion, the only K-1 champion to win three tournaments in a row, the inaugural glory heavyweight champion, unfortunately forced to retire due to a heart condition. Great to see Semi Schilt kickboxing royalty in attendance. It's beautiful left high kick there. Adam Chuck just timing it and ripping the body with it. Really did a lot of positional damage with that control in the pace. A lot of those kicks blocked, but... They block, but, but they push Gregorian out of position. And when right. he's out of position, he can't punch. Gregorian, when he got aggressive and he came back with the punch combos, that's when he did his damage. Fight! I'll admit a much better round for Gregorian. Still a very competitive fight. As we go to the third and final round. Gregorian again, flashing the jab, just using it to blind and pawing, looking at, using it as a range finder. Yep. And now Adam Chuck needs to get out of the corner, listens to his corner, comes forward, but backed up again by Gregorian. Right hook around the guard by Adam Chuck. Nice left hand of the body. I love the way he delivers Beautiful combinations movement. and moves out at angles. <laughs> There's a left uppercut by Gregorian. Knee by Gregorian. Well, this is Sergey Adam Chuck's glory debut, taking it on short notice. If he keeps this up, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of him. He's in there against one of the best in Marat Gregorian, a guy who gave Robin Van Roosmalen all he could handle. Van Roosmalen, of course, the current glory lightweight champion. Body kick by Adam Chuck. Another body kick by Adam Chuck. And he mixes it up, Frank. He goes body with the left, the right punches. It's it's really impressive to see. Very clever, very tight angles. But now Gregorian attacking him with fervor. Gregorian's got to stay on him the whole time. He can't let him breathe. Gregorian's got better flow in his hand, so he needs to get this into a punching game. And try to get Adam Chuck in it with him. Right uppercut on the inside by Gregorian. Just past the midpoint of the final round. There's a knee by Adam Chuck. Rips the right hook to the body. Outside low kick. Nice right hook by Adam Chuck. Gregorian took it well. He took it well. He's trying, he's trying to headhunt and just kind of stay in the, in, in the position now and let it go. Meanwhile, seconds are ticking away. Yep. Minute left in the fight. 
and Adam Chuck is the aggressor. It may be Gregorian walking him down, but it's Adam Chuck who he's punching responds. first. Yeah, he's punching first. Nice knee though to the midsection by Gregorian. Oh, rolling thunder misses. Remember, Peter Graham broke Badahari's jaw with that kick. Everything works. And in fact, Badahari, a member of Mike's gym, where Adam Chuck trains, also the home of Corey Glory light heavyweight champ Gokan Saki, whose glory career, anyway, appears to be in flux at the moment. But meanwhile, 15 seconds left in this fight. Gregorian continued to walk down. The impressive Sergey Adam Chuck. There's an impressive combo and a knee. Now Gregorian unleashing everything. Great fight. Very entertaining. Good stylistic matchup. Adam Chuck definitely is coming back. That guy can rock, man. Again, when you look at the uh, scoring criteria, it's based on the number of knockdowns. There were none. Cumulative effect on opponent, and we'll see some of that here. Oh, chopping. Look at this. Chopping. Those hurt so bad when that kick goes downward onto the thigh. And, and followed clean by scoring giant strikes. Knee. So, really, I think it comes down to the clean scoring strikes who had the better of them. Right? That's, the, that's how it scored. From my eyes, and believe me, I'm wearing glasses, so take that for what it's worth. I, I like what Adam Chuck was able to do in this fight. How do you have it after three? I still think that uh, Gregorian's going to edge him out. I just think. You know, the moving forward, the countering, the, the aggression he brought in the second round. I think he, I think he changed the fight. Adam Chuck has, had his sort of, he had his kind of comeback moment in the third round where he was doing the good techniques and flowing and chopping, but. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we go an extra round here, but we'll see. That was certainly close. Really impressive for Adam Chuck again taking the fight on short notice, 25-year-old in his 34th professional fight against Gregorian, who was competing in his 50th professional fight. So, who will get his arm raised in victory? Let's go back to Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard, and they give us the score, 29-28. All three judges see it the same way. A unanimous decision for your winner, Sergey! Wow. Sergey Adam Chuck pulls off the upset and does so in impressive fashion. So a new lightweight on the scene in Sergey Adam Chuck as he knocks off Marat Gregorian via razor thin unanimous decision. Yeah. Some beautiful yeah. techniques on display. Lots to be pleased with. There was Gregorian on the attack, backing up. Adam Chuck, but it was Adam and Chuck firing, countering when it was on those ropes. But here's Gregorian again. And of course, with this highlight package, it's, it's Gregorian. Let's this fight go on. Can Francois Embe Ambeng 